Whoa! Hey, welcome, and welcome to Steve Says So, um, and the WrestleMania vlog. This should be part three, um, and the reason why I looked a little bit surprised at the beginning there is because I'm using a new camera, and it's a little bit close. I think I'm going to have to zoom out. Um, just to uh, apologise for the cringeworthiness of uh, episodes one and two of this, if you go back or go down there somewhere and have a look or is it to the side that one of them and have a look um i've realized how much i waffled in those and i'm waffling now um but what i'm doing this uh on this week's episode just to very quickly show you the wrestlemania seating plan the official seating plan you've probably seen several different um pictures online if you've bought the perhaps the travel packages this is more specifically for the travel packages but if you've gone and bought the tickets anyway from one of the pre-sales or in fact from the main sale which will be going on uh, I think a day after I'm putting this video up um, then you'll get an idea of what package what, what seats were taken from the travel packages and it might give you an indication as to what seats may be available it also shows you the picture I'm going to show you um, is one that's not really doing doing the rounds it's not really been circulated much and it will importantly show you where you've got the restricted views uh, in the stadium so you know the best places to sit and also those you perhaps might want to avoid because some of these seats have got a semi restricted view some have got a, a very bad restricted view so what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch to um, uh, to the picture and Okay, so ladies and germs, this is the stadium. I'm trying to get it all in view there. Uh, right, here's our key. These are for the travel packages. So anything in red, platinum, uh, the yellow or gold is obviously for gold, the gray areas for silver, the purple is the heavily restricted view, and the lighter purple, uh, or probably mauve, I don't know, if you want to be that fussy, is the restricted view. So let's pull this out a little bit. Um, first of all, let's start with those platinum and gold seats. So, if you brought a gold or platinum package, you are in luck. Uh, myself, I've gone for the gold package, and I am obviously hoping for here. Whether I get that or not, I don't know. Uh, but to be honest, most of those look pretty good. Um, obviously, uh, you know, the 108 Rises is one of the best views you can actually get. Uh, apparently, I'm sure I could be corrected, but it's uh, it seems pretty good. Um, I purposely didn't want to spend, or I couldn't spend the money to be sitting around F1, um, but I, I'm not the tallest of guys, and I didn't want to be hiding behind a uh, a sign or something like that. So I'm hoping I have a slightly better view there. Um, but importantly, if you've gone for platinum, you know you're going to have some fantastic seats. Um, you're going to have a great... It's going to be mixed mixed feelings. Well, I've got mixed feelings about it. If I was in Platinum and I got seated in F5 or F4 there, um, as you can see, you're going to have a great view of the wrestlers coming in and out of the ring. Um, you're going to be fairly close. But as to what the view's like when the actual match is kicking off, I don't know. So let's little have a look at the other areas, the silver areas. So you can see... Um, You've got the seats P30, uh, the blocks P36 down to P32 uh, facing onto the ring, so that'd be pretty darn good, those views. And the same again for P06 to P10. And obviously, you may may find yourself in the camera shot there at some point. Uh, but it's these views. I'm going to scan down. These are the heavily restrictive views and the slightly restrictive views. So I'll just take that in so you can see that. I'll go up to this side and I'll come down to the others in a moment so you can take it all in. Just make a note of these if you're going to be buying tickets or you have bought tickets. Uh, or if you're going to be selling tickets on. Not something I particularly endorse, but if you're going to do that, then you know you want to make it clear as to what's actually going on. So I'm going to leave that there for, for a few moments just so you can take that in, get an idea of the seating arrangements and where you may be sitting let, comment below let me know whereabouts you're sitting i won't actually find out my seats until uh, like end of february or something like that beginning of march when they send out the travel packages which i'll be uh unboxing live on here so you can see what tickets i actually get but uh if you've got tickets already comment below don't forget to subscribe perhaps share this with your friends it might be helpful um and uh yeah let's get discussion going uh look forward to speaking to you next time